Which steroids do I recommend you take for fat loss and which steroids do I recommend you take for bulking? Now, when I say fat loss, I mean contest prep, not just fat loss, guys. Let me get that. Let me rephrase that. I'm not going to restart the video, but this is not fat loss. You do not take steroids for fat loss. If you want to get lean, competition ready or ready for the beach or ready for any event, whatever, I'm not here to tell you what you should get ready for and what you shouldn't get ready for. But if you want to get ready, you want to know the best steroids for a cutting stack, this is the list. If you want to get the best steroids for a mass building, bulking, powerlifting, power strongman stack, this is also going to be the list. So I've wrote a couple of things down. Now, first and foremost, let me get this out of the way. Your baseline for pretty much everything in life, anything in life, whether it's family, whether it's wealth, whether it's health, the baseline for all those three things is testosterone, bro. You heard it here. Get yourself some testosterone. So testosterone works for both. So let's just get that out of the way. There's one thing I'm going to say about the... Let's start with the bull. Let's start with the bull. Okay. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll come to the other... In fact, no, I'll mention the thing about cutting first. Okay. Testosterone. Do I recommend you take propanate, which is the fast-acting testosterone for bulking? Sorry, for cutting. No. And the theory is this. If you take fast-acting testosterone, you don't get much bloat. You don't hold much water. Oh, sorry about that, guys. I don't know if you heard that in the camera, but I kind of burped inside. Not an outside burp, but an inside burp. What do you call that? Indigestion? I don't know. Anyway, I'm not eating that well today. Propanate. So, when you take propanate, people think so the common thing is it holds less water. Does it really hold less water if you're taking it every single day? Does it really hold less water if you're taking it every other day? I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like the idea of jabbing propanate, fast-acting steroid anywhere. So for me, it's a no-no for cutting. Keep that out of the cutting stack. So I know people are going to mention it, a couple, you know people are going to talk about it, but definitely not for me. Now, for cutting, obviously you want to keep estrogen low. Now, some of the best steroids for that are listed. I'm going to, yeah, I was going to start with orals, but I'm not. I'm going to start with injectables. For me, personally, cutting stack, equipoise. People are going to be like, what the hell is this? EQ for cutting? What the hell is this guy doing? So test an EQ for cutting. You want to start a cutting cycle, that's going to be your base. Test an EQ. As you start to lose a little bit more weight, take out the EQ and replace that with Mastron. Mastron's a great hardener. Mastron should basically be called safe trend. So when you see when you see Mastron, take that out and just call it a safe version of Trembolone. That's all Mastron is. Moving on. Primo. Now, Primo is one of those steroids that people say that you should be using high dose. And I'm not here to talk about dosages, guys. I'm going to tell you this now. I'm not going to give you any dosages, so do not ask me, unless you're a client. But Primo is a great steroid. You do not need high dosages. I'm going to say that much. Great steroid, hardener, good for holding onto muscle mass whilst you're dieting. And if you are training heavy and hard like me, then you don't need to hold onto muscle mass. You're always going to have your muscle mass. So there you have it, guys. Very simple. Test and Amphate, EQ, Masteron, and Primo. They're the only four injectables that I would ever take if I was cutting or doing a bodybuilding contest. Now, I know people are going to say Trembolone. Is it good for cutting? Is it not? I'm not going to say. I'm not going to say. It is good. It is good for a master. Sorry, it is good for a cutting stack, but it's so dangerous. It's so dangerous, I would not recommend it. So these are my recommendations, guys. I would not recommend it. Winstrel. Now, Winstrel is a great cutting steroid. Now, people say, let me just get this, this, I hate this, I hate this thing. Oh, if you take Winstrel, your joints are going to hurt. No, they don't, bro. Your joints don't hurt taking Winstrel. If you get right down to 5% body fat, you know when you're walking around and you're walking on marble floor, you're walking on a hardwood floor, you can feel your bone in your foot touching the floor. It hurts. It's painful walking around. Trust me. I've been down that low. Why? Because every single bit of fat on your body, in your joints, in between your joints is now gone. Because you're that lean, your joints are going to hurt. They are going to be more prone to getting injured. Winstrel is very bad for this. Only then, if you are sub 8% body fat, maybe 6% body fat, can you say Winstrel is making my joints hurt? Those people that are 15% body fat, 20% body fat saying, don't take Winnie, it makes your joints hurt. No, it doesn't, bro. <laughs> I'll tell you what makes your joints hurt. Excuses. That's what makes your joints hurt. Anavar. 
great steroid for TRT for uh, cutting, I was going to say mass there, cutting stack, pre-contest, going to Ibiza, going to Marbella, going to Miami, LA, Vegas, wherever you want to go for a sick pool party, get on some Anavar. It's great. Also, very female friendly. No, I'm not going to say that. It is, but I would never put any females on it. I, and any females out there who have been coached by me, not many because I don't coach many females, but they will know. I, I, you know, if you have come to me saying, oh, do you reckon to Anavar? I'm like, don't do it, bro. Don't do it. Just don't go down the enhanced route. It's not worth it for females. For guys, yeah, man, we're good. We're good. We, we produce testosterone in abundance, so why not take it? That is it, guys. There's nothing else on the list for cutting. That's it. No fat burners, no ECA, no halo testing, no L-glutamine, no carnitine, none of that. No peptides. You don't need any of that shit, bro. What else is it? Growth hormone? No, you don't need growth hormone. Insulin? You don't need... None of that shit works. None of that shit works for cutting. This is all you need for the cutting. Not trend hex, not trend and unfake, not trend balone. Acetate. None of that. If you cannot get a pro card off this stack that I just listed, then you should never have been a pro in the first place. Moving on to bulking. I should have done two videos here, shouldn't I? Nah, we'll just... We'll add it in one video. Check that out, guys. One video getting off me today. Yeah, one video. Okay, bulking, the top 10 steroids. No, I will say 10, 10. What's going on here? Why am I saying top 10? There's not even 10 things wrote, wrote down over here. Right, okay. The best steroids, in my opinion, for bulking. Test and amphate and test sipinate. I like both of them. I have used both of them. Don't feel great on sipinate. I prefer test and amphate, but it's good. And now this one might shock you. Equipoise. Do you see a pattern here, guys? Do you see a pattern here? Yes, the pattern is... The, it's the same thing. It's pretty much the same compound. Testosterone is the same compound. Why do you get leaner? Because you diet right. Why do you get bigger? Because you diet right. And you train harder, of course. Well, you train hard for both, but you train differently. That's the main thing. So EQ, test, and amphate, testipinate EQ. Those are my injectables. You do not need to take any other injectable, in my opinion, if you want to bulk. When it comes to orals... Now, with orals, you have to be very careful. You don't want to be using them for more than four to six weeks at a time. There's two orals that stand out for me when it comes to adding on slabs of meat. Number one, D-ball. And the reason why D-ball is great because you can start building up on D-ball, 10 milligram, 20 milligram, 30 milligram. Now, here's a tip for free. For those guys that want to take D-ball or dabble in a little bit of D-ball and you're already on a test base, take 20 milligram pre-workout. Don't take D-ball every single day because it's going to shoot your appetite down. Should have used a different word, but it's gonna it's gonna kill your appetite. Not shoot, it's gonna kill your appetite. Twenty milligram of D ball pre workout. Try it and then comment down below. You don't need to take it on the days that you're not training. That way, your liver is a little bit safer as well, and you can take it for a little bit longer. So D balls are great oral for bulking and getting strong and building mass. The other steroid. This steroid is the first one that I ever tried. That is oxymethylone. In my opinion, the most potent steroid out there for building mass, size, strength, and blocked. And a big, bubbly face. Again, do not do more than 15 milligrams per day for four to six weeks. And again, you can try this pre-workout as well. So again, if you're training four days a week, five days a week, try it just pre-workout 50 milligram. And I know you can't, you can, people say break the tablet and all that, but I don't really know if you're going to get all of it. I mean, they're not, you know what I mean? It's, they're not exactly made like that. If you, know, if you know anything about tablets, they're not made how you think they are. So there you have it, guys. That is it for bulking. Very, very simple. Now, if you cannot, and I'll say this again, you cannot get your pro card of just doing these drugs. You have no business being on stage long term. There's a lot of guys out there that have taken a lot more to get up there. And guess what? They don't last very long. They don't last long, guys, in this game. I'm not giving you dosage advice. You want to know dosage advice? Link is in the description. Book yourself in for a call. Buy one of these drinks from FadiHussein.com. Get yourself a voodoo floss band from FadiHussein.com. Comment down below, like, and please subscribe.